Last episode, we relied on youth to help push the team up into third place, and now we have the chance to go top of the table in an exciting episode this time out. Hey, what's going on guys? Respect the Jeff here and I am back with Paris FC. We're in third place. Unbelievable stuff to start the season. Uh, surprisingly enough, PSG are all the way down in ninth place, having dropped significant amount of points so far. Uh, 19 and they have a big gap to close up now if they want to uh, win the league for I think a fourth year running in this series. Uh, but slow start or not, we know that they will be back with the kind of squad that they have and challenging for that top spot. So we'll take what we can get now. <laughs> Maybe we shook their confidence a little bit with the win earlier. We're building our way towards January. The games are going to start flying a lot faster. I'm going to try to move through this series uh, with a little bit of speed. So with that said, let's get to our first game against FC Nance. With that said, let's get to it. All right, here we go. Some quick highlights from this game. Really good start from the team. Gaitan Laura and Ilias Husni. Little interchange on the wing here. Husni's had an unbelievable start to the season, uh, but can't quite get away with that ball here. Fortunately, Diakite, who's playing an increasingly important role here, links up with Paulinho to slide through Husni, who initially looked offsides, but what a goal from the wonder kid himself. Slides it through the legs of the goalkeeper. It does stand perfectly timed to run, perfectly weighted pass. So well done from the entire team in the build-up play there. And on we go, having gotten the first goal of the game here, but uh, game on. Kina over the top plays through Simon, who has the legs to run through, but Haidara finds himself back there to cover despite not having played too many minutes this season. Does really, really well when given the chance here. Diakite finds Sumare. We spring a counter attack of our own here now. Tolyan coming forwards. Another player who hasn't played all that much this season, but looks to get forwards. Paulinho, initial pass denied, but we keep on going here. Paris FC, beautiful build-up play here. Haidara plays it into the area. Mitrita lays it off. Sumare, wow! Incredible scenes here as we score one of the best team goals you will see. Played from front to back, I think almost everyone got a touch on the ball at some point. And eventually it's finished by Sumare, who has been in and out of the side. He's never quite exactly fulfilled what I thought he was going to when he signed, but he's an important player for us nonetheless, and there's still plenty of time to grow. It's Mbappe and Ismail Garbi coming on. We saw a good amount from them last episode. We're going to keep giving them minutes as long as they keep playing, and hopefully they will continue to grow. Gaitan Laura wants in on the action. Little give and go, and Diakite plays him through. Quick little one-twos between the two of these players, and again, uh, it's not a game for us without Gaitan Laura scoring, is it? <laughs> he averages more or less a goal a game these days and is absolutely lighting the league up. He's the top scorer in the league right now and I don't think that's a surprise to anyone based off of what we've seen out of him. Ilias Husni now looking to make things even worse. Diakite, can he pick out a man here all the way through to Umar Soleil who plays it into Ismail Garbi. Chance for him. Oh, looks to play it through. Maybe just overcomplicating but Diakite plays it through again. Absolutely relentless stuff here from Paris FC, and it's the other wonder kid from PSG, Ilias Husni, who finishes on the left-hand side. Two back heels. This is some of the most beautiful football we have ever played, and a 4-0 scoreline. Absolutely whopping win over the opposition. Really starts this episode off on a high note. Three points, and on we go. All right, well, let's get straight into the next game. Keep the ball rolling while we're winning. These are the ones to watch. You guys know and love them. Ilias Husni, Gaitan Laura. These two players are absolutely unstoppable on their day and just keep looking to get better, to be completely honest. Uh, they're growing at a rapid rate. Even Laura, not being that young, has continued to rise in overall and his goal-scoring ability and the confidence you can just see it in the team there. Lovely little play. Paulinho looks to play it through again, but uh, it's been a pretty hectic start to the game here. Felipe Anderson starting out on the left-hand side. Initial pass denied, but it's cleared away by the opposition back line. Jordan Veritude heads it back down. You can see we're just getting forwards in numbers here. Played through again. Suma Ray looking for Veritude. Dominant midfield play here from the two central midfielders. I guess not really as we give the ball away there. It's honestly not been a great start to the game there. Soleil gets called out on a yellow card now. Uh, we've been a little frustrated in this game. We haven't had as many chances as we're used to. Ilias Husni now the latest to get forwards and use his pace to run in behind. Looks to pick out a pass. Laura slips it through. Paulinho lets it run. No, it's off the crossbar. Oh, that should have been a goal. That was unconventional there from our attacking mid. And the game rolls on here. 20 minutes left. Felipe Anderson 
calmly plays it back for Cornet. Is this game going to be one that leaves us frustrated come the end of the 90 minutes? Hopefully not. A left back still just going, given space to run by Al Sharani, who is definitely not slow by any means. But uh, Maxwell Cornet continued to push forward. Paulinho still going. Unbelievable footwork. Still going. Paulinho lays it back off for Laura. Well-deserved goal from Paris FC. Paulinho has some unbelievable footwork to set that chance up. Well, we know his most prominent world-class attribute is his dribbling. I think it's 90 or 91 at this point uh, in terms of his FIFA ratings. And he's just so silky on the ball. And he can sure pick out a pass. Gaetan Laura as well can pick out a finish. So <laughs> it's a deadly duo in the making. Crunching challenge from behind there for Samuel Piet, who comes on to shore things up defensively in the last couple of minutes. Uh, definitely does that. <laughs> He's the kind of player we come on, uh, or we bring on rather, to come on and get a yellow and just kind of close the game up. So, uh, professionally seen out game there in the end. 1-0. It's a close and hard-fought win, but again, we come away with it. Well, don't look now, guys. We're top of the table. First place level on points with Marseille who crazy enough is our next opponent. Unbelievable stuff here. Couldn't write this as the excitement builds at the top of the table. So uh, with a press conference coming, I'll use this opportunity to take questions from the community as usual. Vic Ruiz asks who our most important signing has been this season. I think a really notable shout is uh, Diego Urente. He's completely shored up our back line. It's come at the cost of Axel Bamba, but uh, also big shout to Felipe Anderson, who has looked deadly on the wings. I did not expect as much out of him as we've gotten this season so those two have been unbelievable with that said let's get to it all right here we go we face off against Marseille it's an away matchup and one that counts for a lot we are joint top of the table right now level on points these two teams and whoever wins here would take the cake and move top of the league a draw here would suit us considering we're level on goal difference but we're not settling for that as Rodriguez Oh man, is allowed to just charge forwards basically off of the kickoff. That is a horror start to the game from this team. What is the defense doing? Tobias can't catch him. Umar Saleh essentially lets him run and that is an unbelievably poor start to the, the match for us here. But uh, we definitely have goals in us. Let's see if we can't push on here. Maxwell Cornet, the left back, bombing forwards to find Husni who blasts it over. That's not the uh, head we would necessarily want scoring goals for us if given the chance. But another deadly warning there from Olympic Marseille who almost find a second. Anderson now top of the box. Amazing chances for both teams. This has been end to end. We're only 17 minutes in now. The chances keep pouring in. Another great opportunity. Just about seen out Cornet. Really nervous stuff out of the back. My God, what a start this has been. So far, we are on the losing end of things. Guy Chandler, though, plays through Felipe Anderson, who is allowed a clean run through at goal. Anderson, can he finish? Saved! Paulinho off of the follow-up. We are back on level terms. Oh my gosh, absolute whirlwind stuff here. 1-1, and it looks like there are more goals left in this game for sure. Chance after chance, it honestly could have even been <laughs> higher scoring at this point. We're about halfway through the first half, so still plenty of minutes left. Uh, I think the players are going to die out there on the pitch if they keep up this pace. <laughs> I don't know how long we can sustain this for, but on we go. Looking to kind of establish a foothold now. It's looked better. A bit of a shaky start for us, but uh, here we go, establishing ourselves in the game. Paulinho just waiting for that run, and it comes off. Gaetan Laura clean through on goal. Finishes! It's a second goal to get us in front. Not that long after the first goal was scored, and Gaetan Laura always going to be the man to do it. Uh, I know actually just before this I was talking about uh, Urente and uh, Felipe Anderson as some of our best signings. I guess really they were our more surprising signings, but if we're talking best signing overall this season, I think it probably is Paulinho. He's made the biggest contribution, and it could get worse here. Husni, ooh, could have made it three. Are we going to regret that at the end of the game? He almost tucked it just around the side of the goalkeeper. It was a clever finish, but a little uh, too much of an ask there, I guess. Just at the last moment there, crunching challenge from Soleil. Sees it out. We go into halftime. Scoreline in our favor, but only just 45 more minutes left to play. And if the first half was anything to go by, this is going to be a crazy one for us. Two more chances almost there, but Llorente just about keeps him out. The uh, pressure continues to pile on here from Marseille, though. Scramble at the mouth of the goal, and again, two shots blocked, and one trickles wide. I don't know how we're hanging on here, but Marseille are absolutely relentless. 
Shot from just outside the area by Rodriguez. The initial goal scorer does go high and wide. Williams now coming forwards again, and it's a miscue from the defense. We're hanging on, but just by a thread. I don't know what's going on here. Absolutely dominant display here from Marseille, and he's brought down. It's a clunky challenge from Soleil, who really, alongside Bamba, has not looked great this season, but it's a chance that could cost us here. Lucas Adon steps up. Wow, how are we still in the lead? It's been completely against us here in the second half. Iannaccio, top of the area. McKenney, give and go. Iannaccio saved. Lucas Adon, hero so far in this match. That's two or three world-class saves. Vinicius Tobias finally getting just a tiny bit of possession here from the team. And Tobias coming forwards now. We know, was, uh, we know what he offers offensively. Tobias still going. Can he get his head up to find someone in the box? Nope, probably smartly plays it back to the corner flag here. Let's get some control over this one. Ten minutes left. Husni, chance at the back post. This could be a goal. Felipe Anderson heads it away, and it's gathered back up here. Sumare spreads it wide. Lovely pass for Husni. Lovely chest control. Veritu plays it through. Paulinho again. Oh, no. Two opportunities could have been passed through to Laura, who is wide open at the far post. But... We can't kill the game off in those opportunities, and it still remains 2-1 in our favor. Cuisance now top of the box, played through. Tobias can't get there, and Radonjic plays it across the face of goal. Iannaccio finds a second to level the game up, and with only seconds remaining in the match, you probably get the feeling that it's going to end all level. Well, disappointing to say the least, but uh, if we're being fair here, Marseille have far and away been the better team in the second half and it's probably a well-deserved goal and equalizer for them. And uh, maybe one more chance in this game. Nope, <laughs> Ilya Susni denied there. But play continues on. I guess we still have enough to maybe make something of this. Play through again. Laura, no way. Can we end the game with a goal? Laura, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Well, we had our chance to see the game out. It would have been a little fortunate, but we just about could not finish there. Marseille hold us. 2-2, really, really exciting match. One of the best so far this season, but unfortunately for us, it's not enough to get a win this time. All right, well, thrilling stuff. And like I said, with Monaco, not really enough to chase us down just yet. It's enough to keep us top of the league. And honestly, that's exactly where we would like to be, <laughs> especially with PSG so far down below us. Uh, they are in fourth now, slowly making that gap up. But they have a game in hand, uh, or rather we have a game in hand, so we're going to keep the ball rolling here. Let's get straight back to action against Bordeaux. Let's get to it. All right, well, we keep the ball rolling here with the results, especially when they're going so well in our favor. I think we just want to get to as many as we can. Guy Laura literally in a foot race with his man and finishes. <laughs> well, sometimes it's just as easy as that, isn't it? Guy Laura, he's got the pace especially against slow defenders. They're just never going to stand a chance if they play a high line. Absolutely unbelievable, impeccable finish into the far corner, and his finishing just seems to get better with age. And here we go now, Mitrita dancing at the top of the box. Can he pick out a pass? Yes, Veritu, clever little flick over the top for Laura, who looks to cut it back for Veritu, and it could have been two, should have been two, but he couldn't finish. Really good play from Paris FC, though. Been a much less hectic display than we saw last time out. Diakite ball over the top for Felipe Anderson, who's got the legs on him. Can he finish? Yes, it's two goals, and Felipe Anderson continues his hot start to this season. Well, at this point, we've looked really, really good in this game, and uh, hopefully it's enough to see us out through the end to grab another three points and solidify our spot at the top of the table. We go into the second half, scoreline still in our favor, still the clean sheet, and we still look to be pushing on for more goals here. Toyan, who's increasingly making some good appearances this season, finds Diakite. This is his chance to finish. Diakite, unbelievable footwork, but did he just overcomplicate things? It could have been three goals, but it wasn't. Three substitutions now. It's Husni, Mbappe, and Garbi. Actually, our three signings who we all poached from PSG, the PSG Academy specifically, <laughs> coming on together, and uh, maybe a little bit of chemistry between them starting to build. The three players we probably have the highest hopes for in terms of their overall potential and what, what they could contribute to the team. Let's see if they can't link up here at the end of the match. Uh, it's actually the three of them, Garbi to Mbappe to Husni, all linking up in the build-up play here. And again, the return pass from Diakite, our own wonder kid from our academy, finds Husni deflected and Mbappe Almost got there. That was a brilliant bit of build-up play from all of the under-21s. <laughs> and uh, not enough to score a goal, but enough to look promising. Two goals, three points for the team. 
I'm running out of words <laughs> to describe how good we've been so far. All right, well, we just keep rolling on now. We're in first place, and although Marseille keep the pressure on continuing to get points of their own, we are still level on points with them, but the goal difference remains in our favor. 17 is not bad at all. Uh, like I said, PSG starting to close the gap, but it's not enough at this point, which for us is looking really good. So with that said, let's keep up in search of wins. It's Angers up next, an away matchup for us. And with that said, let's get to it. All right, well, we just keep going. We just keep winning. It's been a long time, at least since we've lost a game. Been held to a couple of draws, but we have looked brilliant this season. And Axel Bamba back in the side for the first time in a while. He made some really, really bad mistakes early in the season. He is still our captain on paper, at least when he's playing. And he's a really dominant aerial force. There you have it, scoring a goal. And what a way to come back into the side and make an impact. He's not a player that I'm going to freeze out for forever, but I think he needed to sort himself out, kind of get his footing back. And I think at this point, especially with Soleil kind of making some errors, giving away penalties, maybe not looking like the, the single best defender in the league, I think it might be Bamba who partners up with Diego Llorente for the time being. I think out of the three center backs, Llorente is the one who's looked the best. And Anderson finds another goal. Unbelievable pass, great chest control, and a great finish. We're playing some lovely stuff now. <laughs> it's worth noting that was a ball from Laura, our striker. I guess he's got the ability to pick out some passes. Uh, and honestly, our entire attacking front line is looking unbelievable. Ilya Suzny now coming forwards, 50 minutes on the clock, and Jordan Veritu lines up a shot off the crossbar, but Paulinho, right place, right time to finish that move off. Uh, this is exactly what we needed out of the team. It's been a cruise so far. We've barely had a look in our own half. We've looked really good offensively, everyone pulling their weight. The uh, player I'd like to see score some more is Veritut. I feel like in the last couple of games or episodes, he's had a lot of good chances and almost off the crossbar saved by the goalkeeper, but a lovely pass there, and it's a fourth. Unbelievable stuff. Ilias Husni scores to make it four for us, and Paris FC absolutely unstoppable at the moment. Not only are we going to get the win, but we're going to extend our lead with our goal difference over Marseille, regardless of what they do, <laughs> unless they're going to score uh, more than four goals. We'll see, but it's time to give other players some minutes. Piet and Kyle Laren are both coming on. Especially Laren, I, I don't even think he's appeared at all this season. He's a player who really hasn't looked to have minutes. Maybe he'll consider leaving in January, but Let's give him some minutes and see what he can contribute in this game. Uh, Matrita now plays through a ball for Ilias Husni, who lobs it up to the back post. And Laren, first touch of the ball, it's in the back of the net. 5-0, we can do no wrong today. Uh, and honestly, maybe it's a little harsh on Laren that he hasn't been playing at all. But to be fair, when you have a player like Gaetan Laura starting ahead of him, he's leading the league. He's one of the best strikers probably in the world at the moment. And... Uh, you just got to play the players who are looking best. Obviously, if we had injuries or we needed him, Laren would be playing more, but I just don't know where he fits in at the moment, and if he's not happy with minutes on the bench, yeah, there's a chance he might end up leaving uh, in the next couple of transfer windows. But the opposition try to make sure this game isn't just over yet <laughs> with their single chance in behind, but just like that, it's easily dealt with, and away we go again. Laren does well with the hold-up play here to keep a hold of possession, and Husni finds it through for Sumare, run ahead of him being made. Sumare confident in possession, just charging forwards to find Husni. Top of the area, lines one up, it's deflected and out for a corner. Could things get even worse though? Five goals already. I'm looking to put a ball in here. It's Maxwell Cornet who steps up and it's in the back of the net again. Wow, our left back has been unbelievable this season. That's his third goal so far. Uh, and he's just contributing everything. I mean, not only just offensively, but locking things up defensively and just contributing all over the pitch, and as well as everybody in the team. Honestly, everyone's played their role. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly how that did count as an own goal, so we won't see that reflected in the season statistics for our left back, but we know at heart that he scored a third, <laughs> and he's looking really good, uh, so shows no signs of slowing down his offensive output this season. Vinicius Tobias now closing down. Ball allowed almost into the area, but again, away we go. It's dealt with pretty easy. The team looked absolutely unbelievable. 6-0, and that's one of the most dominant performances I think we've ever seen on this channel. I'm not even sure if we con conceded a shot all game, really. <laughs> we saw the best of 
pretty much everyone on the team. And yeah, we can confirm that. Looking at the statistics here, this might be the single best game we've ever had. We did not concede a single shot. We kept up the pressure. We dominated possession. Uh, we created seven expected goals. We could have even scored more than we did, really. So we take that away, and on we go. All right, it's enough to keep us top of the league, deservedly so as well. Monaco are now level on points with us, but we have a game in hand, depending on how our next game goes, we could extend the lead a little more. Marseille as well, having slipped up, are now three points below us, uh, level on games with us. And it's just been great stuff so far. Shout out to Luka Zidane, who's looked solid in goal so far this season. Uh, him and Ilias Husni and Gaetan Laura, the three of them actually, all three have made the most appearances this season. I think they've started every game pretty much. Laura, the standout among them, thanks to his goals. 13 goals, four assists in 16 appearances it is genuine world-class stuff in one of the top five leagues. He's unstoppable. And Ilias Husni's kicking it up a notch too. He started a little slow in terms of his end product, but he's definitely scoring goals at a much better rate now. Uh, five goals, four assists, makes him our second highest scoring. And just behind him, big shout out to Paulinho as well. Four goals, but notably six assists. That's what we brought in, uh, brought him in to do, is fill that void left by Kazri, who was our assist king. And Paulinho, so far so good. Uh, Felipe Anderson, another one to shout out. Really well balanced, three goals, three assists. Uh, obviously Maxwell Cornet ripped off of that goal in the last one. Uh, <laughs> should have three goals, two assists, but there's a lot of players, I feel like, definitely we're Gaetan Laura heavy up top in terms of relying on him for goals, but outside of that, we're finding goals elsewhere. I don't think it's a problem for us. Uh, even players like Bamba and our other uh, center back, um, Diego Llorente scoring goals. Uh, Veritut has one and, and three assists to his name. Mitrita's contributing four assists. He's only scored the one, but uh, definitely still up there and one of our better players this season overall. Uh, really great stuff from all over the pitch and we just keep rolling on with this season. So in the meantime, if you want to help out in the Discord, get active and join in on some of the conversations and shape these storylines, feel free to join. Link in the description. Also, go check out my, Wix way <laughs> go check out my website, Respect the Jeff. Com. It's got some really cool statistics about the team. You can see everything and hopefully feel a little more connected to the squad. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and I will be back soon with next episode. But until then, I'm Respected Jeff and I'll see you next time.